Elijah running away was not the problem. Elijah giving up was the problem. He gave up. So when I say run away, I'm not saying give up. It's a difference between running away and giving up. I'm not saying you should shut down. I'm not saying you should shut down your dream. Run away from your dream. No. There's a difference between running, up, running away and giving up. Elijah gave up. He said, Lord, I am not better than my ancestors. You see, I told you last Sunday, just last Sunday, I told you, face to face with difficulties and problems, if you don't have a positive mentality, memory will sabotage your mission. Did you see what he said? He said, I am not better than my ancestors. How? Which of his ancestors shut the heavens and rain did not fall? Which of them? Which of his ancestors before him ever raised a dead child? Which of his ancestors ever made food to abound in just a jug for years? Anyone? But memory is now sabotaging him. He now saying, I am not better than my ancestors. Therefore, kill me. So if there was sniper then, do you know Elijah would have taken sniper? Because I'm sure he had looked around. There was nothing he could do to kill him. So now take up. Just kukuma, kill me. Difficulties, challenges. Memories will sabotage you. He didn't remember. Elijah now forgot to remember that just a few days back, he called down fire from heaven. He forgot all of that. When you are faced with difficulty, you are in a dead end. If you must remember something, remember the time you were in such situation. That will not be your first time. Remember the time you were in similar situation and how despite all of that, you still came out of it. That's what you should be remembering. And then you should be telling yourself, if I made it then, I will make it now. Help me tell somebody, don't give up. Don't give up. He was wishing himself death. Don't give up. The, the, one of the beautiful things here is, listen, no, I have told you guys before, it was even still last one, I told you that the goodness of God is not contingent on us, right? If God were to be hearing the prayers we say, what well, have a deal? Did Elijah not pray for death? He prayed for death. What if God has heard that prayer? So despite his negative prayer, God did not abandon him. Everybody say God is good. God did not abandon his prayers. God, just take me. Let me just sleep. Because sometimes we exaggerate, uh, exaggerate things. Those people who exaggerate things, hey, they say, hey, don't say you are sick. If you are sick, you'll be sick. Hey, if you are sick and somebody asks you, how are you? Tell the person, I am well. But you are sick. If you say you are sick, hey, oh, you are poor. Somebody asks you, how are you doing? Hey, I am rich. No, you are not rich. You are poor. You are poor. Saying the reality is not negativity. Uh, you are coming to borrow. Now, nah, Abel, can you lend me 3,000 there? I'm very, very rich. Why I want to lend 3,000 to somebody who is very, very rich? You are listening to all those useless motivational speakers who will tell you that it's what you say, you will see. Bros, if it is what you say, you will see. I want to see mansion now, mansion now, mansion now. I let it come. Praise God. Uh, do you understand what I'm talking about? There is a whole exaggeration of this... Uh, uh, word. See, the only person whose word automatically manifests is God. Not you. Not me. Of course, you shouldn't use negative words. But saying reality as it is. Uh, your eye is red. You are having headache and fever. And ask, now, how are, how are you? How are you doing? Simply tell me, Father, I'm having headache and I'm having fever. <laughs> then we shall pray. Which one be say your eyes is red? I'm going to say, how are you doing? Say, Father, I am well. I'm on top of the situation. The situation is on top of you and I'm seeing it. Because they have told you that when you use negative words, you will drive away God's blessing. Now lie. Elijah prayed ardently for death. But what did God do? God rather sent an angel of rejuvenation and revitalization. I pray for you. When you are down to nothing, may God be up to something in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The day you give up is the day that God will show up. In the name of Jesus Christ. He prayed to die, but what did God do? God sent an angel to come and wake him. God said, no, you will not die. You see, when, once God has decided what he will do with you, sometimes he doesn't even, he doesn't even need your faith. That is how good and powerful God can be. Sometimes God does not even need your faith. He will come. He sent an angel. And the angel woke him. 
Elijah wanted to die, but in fact, Elijah died, but the angel woke him. Now you are not dying yet. Wake up, wake up. It's not time. You will not die. God does not. I think I told you last Sunday. If God is taking you somewhere, He will not let you die anywhere. You will get to that destination. Help me tell somebody, you will get to where you are going to. You will get to where you are going. In the name of Jesus Christ. God intervened, angelic intervention. From nowhere, the angel came. But don't give up. To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. Sign up with the largest community of Catholics online, make new friends, chat, post pictures and videos, make and receive audios and video calls, interact with lots of priests and religions. Download the app from Google Play Store.